I uh, pretty well counted my blessings uh, uh, before '95. I uh, was told I was, uh, you know, didn't have much time left to live with my terminal liver disease. A family lost their loved one and donated the organs so another may live. I'm here because of that. And that's the motivation of why I'm doing this. I myself have signed my donor card. I think it's wonderful what he's doing. I think everyone, it's something that's not always easy to talk about, but something that people do need to consider. Um, it's the gift of life. Right now, uh, we're going to be getting national attention, and, and it's very much needed. Uh, Canada has been the lowest uh, organ donating country for 14 years now. Uh, so, you know, this demonstration here is a clear positive, positive signal that Canadians are for donations and, and that we will be able to save lives. Toccato quasi un milione di persone. I am so proud to be a Canadian, you know, and, and to, to uh, be called to, to do this as a duty is, is just, I'm, I'm just so honored to do it. Il principale problema, secondo Marcello, non sta nel numero di persone che firmano la organ donor card sulla patente, ma sta nell'attuale legislazione che permette finora alle famiglie di opporsi al desiderio del defunto di donare i propri organi. Marcello nel 1992 si è visto diagnosticare un'incurabile malattia al fegato, ma è stato salvato da un provvidenziale trapianto. Da allora si batte per proporre alcune soluzioni. We could look at things uh, like other countries have that are enjoying success and that's a national registry where we can register people's uh, wishes and, and have them carried out uh, through a registry. Questo coraggioso 43enne è deciso a fare anche di più. Nel maggio prossimo Marcello attraverserà tutto il Canada in 500 giorni per rendere tutti i canadesi più sensibili alla sua causa. Cristina Marano, CFNT News. I'm a liver transplant recipient that's saying thanks to the uh, donor family that donated the organ so I may live. Uh, they saved my life. And uh, as a result of this walk, what we're addressing is the critical shortage of organ and tissue donations in Canada. an inspiring story to leave you with tonight. Today, 43-year-old George Marcello walks with a spring in his step thanks to the anonymous liver donor who saved his life. In gratitude to his donor's family, he has embarked on a 2,000-kilometer trek around the province to raise public awareness. Canada has one of the worst organ donation rates in the industrialized world. This walk acknowledging that act of uh, uh, donating their loved one's organs so I can live. And also I'm addressing the uh, critical shortage of organ and tissue donations in Canada. And finally, an inspiring story to leave you. To the streets of Toronto today as part of a walking tour of Ontario. The Step-by-Step -Step Organ Transplant Association is spreading the word about the importance of organ donation, an association formed when two liver transplant patients met. 
dad just in our family that uh, made it uh, surgery. When we met, uh, we both realized that there was an incredible need for more organ donations. Unfortunately, we've learned that Canada's organ donation rate is one of the lowest in the developed world, and that's almost embarrassing. So, where are we going from here, guys? George Marcello walked more than 2,000 kilometers across Ontario to get the message out. Both men presented a plaque to the transplant unit at Toronto General Hospital before meeting provincial liberal leader Dalton McGuinty outside. Noi raccontiamo tante belle storie e una di queste belle storie è quella di Giorgio Marcello. L'abbiamo visto in, circa in marzo, ha voluto dare un challenge così a quello che è la donazione degli organi e ha voluto uh, percorrere 2000 km a piedi per dare un segno e dimostrare appunto che uh, questo grande... Dare, donare gli organi è qualcosa di veramente fantastico soprattutto per le persone bisognose anche perché lui è stato uno di questi che appunto ha ricevuto un organo e io adesso, adesso volevo un attimo subito uh, passare la parola a Donina perché Giorgio è qui con noi, un po' dimagrito ma c'è, è qui con noi, è ritornato dopo 2000 km Well, while we were all enjoying our summers, George was walking 2000 km across Ontario so you're a real hero George, congratulations, how do you feel? Well, I'm not tired. <laughs> George, just to set you up, you received a liver transplant about two and a half years ago now, and you're in fine shape, and you wanted to give back a little bit to, uh, to the community. In Canada, you're not, uh, you're not allowed to connect with the donor family, nor, nor vice versa, correct? Well, as far as connect, the only means of communication is through a screen letter. Uh, so what I'm going to try and introduce is something called uh, mutual consent. Uh, I found that there was uh, many donor families that had a strong desire to meet the recipient and many recipients such as myself that had a strong desire to meet the family. Uh, so what I'm trying to introduce is to have that option available so that at some point in time, uh, you know, if both desires are mutual, uh, then there should be an option available. And that's similar to the adoption uh, exactly. rules, mutual consent. Exactly. That's so that's and it also would play an incentive, sorry, right? uh, to people to uh, donate more organs and their families to donate the organs because if they know that maybe there might be at some point that they, they'll be able to probably possibly meet the recipient and have a feeling of continuance from their loved ones. Uh, right. You know. And that's how it is in the states, correct? Some states. Some states. Okay. Yes. What about the National Registry? Now, you were walking yeah. 2,000 kilometers across Ontario, but apparently you had time for other stuff. What about the National Registry? Well, that's another thing that I was trying to promote <laughs> along the way. You're uh, a very busy man this summer. I'm ashamed <laughs> of myself. I didn't do very much. Uh, you, you did a lot. <laughs> you did what you had to do uh, this summer. Um, well, this, this National Registry, I think it's been long overdue, and we're really a country that's behind in that scene. Uh, many countries do have it, and they're experiencing a lot of success in organ donations. And what that would entail would be that at present, uh, we have this scenario where even though you do sign your donor card, uh, most of the time that wish is getting vetoed. And the reason why is because the hospital officials have to approach the uh, family, family for the final yes. decision. And what a time to approach the family at a time of tragedy. Before I understand that you have a meeting with uh, uh, Premier Harris uh, in November. Yes, uh, it's presently getting scheduled. Uh, we're in the process of scheduling it. And uh, you're going national too. Uh, you're going to do something at the House of Commons. And yes. you're inviting the House of Commons and the province to get behind your project. Yes, absolutely. We're definitely going to need their support on this. Uh, and this will be part of our uh, scenario when I'm doing the walk across Canada in May of 2000. I'm not finished yet with this. Well, George, uh, can I, yeah, can I just ahead. blow your horn, toot your horn a little go bit? But uh, in Windsor on Friday, September 17th, uh, the day was called officially George Marcello Day by the mayor. Yes. So this is a big deal. You've gotten a lot of attention. Uh, you've certainly achieved your goal. Um, you've, uh, you've achieved uh, organ donation awareness throughout Ontario. So congratulations. You have lots of work yet to do. So you're we the example of a man yeah. who has had a liver transplant and you're just as good as new, right? A absolutely. I'm not the, <laughs> but I'm not the exception here. That's the other thing I wanted to, right. to point out. There's many, many recipients that are having similar 
uh, you know, healthy uh, lives. There's uh, so the arrival of, to Toronto of George Mazzella to come on the center. Just a few days ago. Yep. Yeah, we had uh, Alma Fadani actually organized all that. That's your, that's your route. Yes. <laughs> Was it a beautiful summer? Is Ontario... The, oh, Ontario is the most beautiful province and, in the world. And you were well received? Uh, yes, by every community. There's a lot of Italians in Ontario. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. There everywhere was an, you went? <laughs> everywhere, even Smith Falls. There was a guy that uh, uh, on the highway said, hey, what are you two paisans doing on the highway here? You How know, many I, pairs of He wanted to give you a lift, through? I guess. Well, yeah. He gave us $20. <laughs> but he had to kiss my moral yeah. manager. That's how many pairs of sneakers did you go through? Uh, actually, two. Nike's but been pretty kidding. good. That's yeah, right. I, I chose. Before we uh, before we end up with you, George, uh, yeah. we want to introduce your uh, one of your partners, your road manager, My road Joe manager. Camara. Yeah, come on and in, he Joe. He was there right from the beginning. Uh. Joe uh, has been with you right since uh, June 26, and Joe, you have a few words to say. Joe yeah. has uh, Portuguese descent, correct? That's right, I am, and I just like to say uh, to those uh, organ donor families. Uh, thank you, and for those people on the waiting list, keep the faith. Uh, uh, it should be coming soon. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank um, Cellular Depot, who have uh, helped us out uh, with a phone that was very necessary for our communications. And I'd like to say hi to my family for their support also. Thank you, Joe. Congratulations. The job well done. Thank you, George. I'm sure we'll Thank see you, you here again. Oh, I absolutely. know you're going, uh, you hope to go national with your national registry. Yes. And you'll keep us posted. Absolutely. And Wonderful. Thank you very much for Bravo. all your support. Bravo. 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 Congratulations, Joe. Laura Pausini. Adesso andiamo subito ad ascoltare con questa bellissima canzone la mia risposta. Laura Pausini.